Predators development camp wrapped up with the Futures game on Friday night, and the top prospects were there, and they were accounted for, and they played fine. But the guy who stole the show was a little bit of a surprise. Zach Magwood, who is an undrafted signee for the Predators, has bounced around, played at the lower levels, played at the college level somewhat. He walked in and had a hat trick Friday night to help lead his team in that game. We caught up with the surprising star, Zach Magwood, after the game. I know it was a bit of a lighter crowd than maybe a regular season game, but what was that experience like playing in front of these fans on it in the first summer game? Uh, it was awesome. You know, even though it wasn't full, the place was still loud, and, uh, you know, it wasn't hard to feed off that energy. Is this something you think about for the weeks and months to come? Hey, that time I started a hat trick in a future stars game? Uh, definitely now. Uh, you know, just having that, uh, you know, playing with these guys here. You know, we got some unbelievable players here, and, um, you know, if I wasn't, I for sure am now. It seems like one of the issues or one of the main focal points of this camp is teaching the Predator way, what it like, what it means to be a prospector. What did you learn about the Uh You know, just kind of take pride in being, uh, you know, uh, a professional and, you know, uh, having good character. Um, you know, they, they really preach having good people here, so, you know, it, uh, it's working out well for them. Any your goals? Is that something you would ever expect coming into today? Uh, no, not at all. To be honest, I just tried to go out and, you know, stick to my game, uh, try to make as least amount of mistakes as possible. But, you know, I was fortunate enough to have good wingers, uh, good D playing around me, so they just made it that much easier. What, what do you hope that hat trick tells the coaching staff? Uh, hopefully all good things. Um, you know, I'm, I can only control what, how I play, and, you know, uh, ultimately it comes down to, what they see fit, so you know. Hopefully, I made a good impression that I lost. Regardless, is this a pretty cool memory? I mean, yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, not many people uh, can say that you know they had that night. Um, you know, I'm just trying to roll with it right now. Thank you. Uh, it was loud. Uh, you know, they're really passionate here, and you know, you can see why they always have a competitive team here in Nashville. And you know, even even on some nights, you know, when they're not winning, it's it's not hard to to feed off that energy from that crowd here. Uh, you know, just implementing more uh, professionalism to my game. Um, you know, whether that be on the ice or off the ice. Uh, you know, they really preach. Uh, good character and being a professional, so probably those two things. You can see it in the smile of young Zachary Magwood there about what that night meant. Not a, a true game, but just to have the opportunity in an NHL arena in front of a crowd the size that it was and to go out there and have a hat trick. I mean, that is one of those nights that you are going to remember as a young guy and as a young guy looking to start off in a positive foot with an NHL organization and for him to be undrafted and come in and be the star like that in that environment he deserves to have that smile and to have that experience very very cool moment for him one of the veterans of the camp is Tyler Moy he's a guy that's been with the team for four years this was his fourth development camp he's playing currently with the Milwaukee Admirals a team that struggled a bit last year but they're trying to beef up that team as well to try to make them more competitive in the AHL, the minor league affiliates of the Predators. So much of the emphasis has been on winning now with the Predators that they've depleted some of that farm system. Moy is one of the valuable pieces that they're trying to restock it with. He helped a little bit last year. He'll be one of the leaders there this year. He's one of the leaders of the camp, and we caught up with Tyler Moy after the game. Just kind of just take guys under your wing and uh, you know show them the ropes. And I remember, like I've said before, it's uh, it was a little intimidating coming in here my first year. Uh, you know, I'm still in college and young kid, never been exposed to any of this. So um, you know, to be able to come in here and you know try to help guys out and you know give them pointers and things like that, it's uh, you know I I enjoy that and I think uh, you know I try to take that on uh, as the week went on. You and Tolan were able to connect for a late goal. What do you think of skating with him and you guys' this connection together tonight? Yeah, I mean, obviously he's a, a really skilled player and his ability to finish, finish the puck is uh, obviously far none. So, um, yeah, it was great to play with him. And he's a good friend of mine. So, we, uh, you know, it was just great to hang out with him and, you know, create some chemistry during the week too. And so, uh, yeah, it was great. and glad we were able to connect finally. Uh, took a few tries, but glad it uh, ended up in the net.
Moyes, one of the veterans there that was at development camp. You had all of the rookies there eventually at some point during the week. Yakim Kondalek, the top drafted pick for the Predators, was out there. You had a couple of defensemen, Spencer Stastny, the American, and then the Belarusian Vlad Yeramenko, and then a goaltender prospect as well in camp. Along with the defensemen, you talk about Dante Fabro, he certainly was the leader of that group, but another guy that gets a lot of looks from people as a possibility of a real prospect in this organization moving forward is David Ference. We saw him after the game as well. Well, I get here, but had a little fun today. Oh, uh, yeah, it was a great time. Uh, pretty good crowd. Um, a lot of good players to play with and against, so uh, yeah, it was everything I expected. What would you take away from this experience? Uh, just uh, kind of keeping track of the little details, uh, just taking care of uh, what needs to get taken care of, kind of just uh, lead, lead by example. Uh, there's a bunch of great players to follow, and uh, yeah, just just kind of pay attention to details. Take a little time off before you get back here to rookie camp coming Yeah, I'm going to go home for a little bit, uh, kind of hang out with my parents and my family. Um, just uh, probably keep doing, working out and stuff, but take a little bit of time off. As this is a time of year where guys aren't on the ice all that much, but for prospect camp, you have to be there. You have to be in shape to show up. You've got to be ready for the week. So those guys have earned a well-deserved rest here in the month of July before they start getting ready to go back to their college seasons or to an NHL camp, perhaps, in the case of an L.A. Tolvanen, or to the USHL or wherever. They get a little time off now, and that is well-deserved. When we come back, we'll talk to one of the guys who really put on the camp, who talks about all of the players there and what the Preds got accomplished last week. So stay tuned. More Sports Line on the way right after this here on News Channel 5 Plus.